Peace. It's Brother Hot Tim. And I'm on mile. No, my fault. Just give yourself permission. Now, uh, I took off today. I woke up kind of late. It's Saturday. I did my meditation and I started running. And my energy wasn't where I really wanted to be. So instead of doing a, a eight or a high seven minute mile, I ended up doing a 10 minute mile. And I was kind of frustrated with myself. But then I thought about what I was supposed to be talking about today because now we're moving in through the Millennium Seven. We're moving through these principles. And the principle that just happened to come up today is gratitude, being grateful, showing gratitude. And as I was running, kind of being hard on myself, I finally relaxed and decided to start taking it easy, easy and just embrace where I was. Because there's many people that can't get up and run. There's many people who want to run, but just don't have the willpower to do it. It's, it's, it's some people who don't have the ability to see the things that I see or hear the sounds that I'm hearing or can even afford a cell phone to, to run and listen to while I'm running and keep track. Um, some people who don't have anybody to talk to or a means to really express themselves. Some people that don't even have the freedom to do some of the things that I do. Um, some people who didn't have the luxury of being able <coughs> to sleep in on Saturday. And I started thinking about this whole piece of me and gratitude. And what I the conclusion I came to was shut up, Hot Tim, and be grateful for where you are and what you have. And many of us give away our power in this way by not being grateful for what we have. I'm not saying be satisfied and, and, and just stay stuck. But what I'm saying is be grateful for what you have. Look into your life situation. Look into your life story and find those things that you could be grateful for and magnify those things. Because a lot of times the things that we are ungrateful for are the things that take center stage in our conversations, take center stage in our lives, take center stage in our relationships. And they tear all those things up when it would be healthier for us to look at the things that we are grateful for. So today I want you to give yourself permission to be grateful. I want you to reach down into yourself as you look in the mirror and look at yourself and say, I am grateful. I give myself permission to be grateful. And look at all the things that you have to be grateful about and skip over all the things that may be causing you problems now. And even take some time to look into some of the problems that you have and see where you can get some well, you can show some gratitude in there. Now, the root word of gratitude is grace. And grace is an undeserved favor. So now, as we are practicing gratitude, we also can practice receiving and giving grace. It's some, and and it, it's, it's a power in that. It's a power in once you start giving and receiving gracefully that empowers you and gives you the ability to not over, not only overcome your issues, but to at least shine a light from you that other people can see that no matter how bad their issues are, there's always, there's always something that can come. There's always a betterment that can be found. When we become grateful for where we are and what we have, it gives us power. And I want you to give yourself to practice gratitude, give yourself permission to practice gratitude today. Be grateful. If you can't do nothing but just for the day, just be grateful throughout the day. Now, this has been Brother Hatim. This is give yourself permission hashtag. If you heard something you like, hashtag it, send it out. Um, I'm going to go to the my, my website and update this right now and I want to thank you for your time and the blessing that you have given me and this is session 10 we had a milestone y'all we done made 10 of them 
and you've been listening to all 10 of these, you should start seeing some results in your life. Well, my fault if you have listened and applied some of these things that we've been talking about over the last 10 days. You should begin seeing some results because we, yo, we, we, this is our year. So with that, Brother Artem says, peace, and you have a beautiful day. And I pray that your day is as beautiful as you are. Because remember, your day can't be more beautiful than you are. So if you are not beautiful, then I don't know what type of day you're going to have. I prefer to have a beautiful day. So be your beautiful self. And with that, I say peace.